Welcome to Simulator Adventures and welcome to Freight Tycoon Inc. Now every now and then I love to play tycoon games in this channel and basically in this game you have to start a transport company. Now this game is from about 2006 or 2007, it's available on Steam. A lot of people say that it doesn't work for them but for me I've been able to launch it fine on Windows 10. Um, the intro was like an old style FMV with things exploding and it really kind of sort of to get you in the mood for the game but I'm not sure how, how exciting it's going to be compared to that. Anyway, let's start a new game. Now, tutorial level. My name is Jack. Yep, yeah, I can't seem to change my name. Oh, but let's make uh, uh, Sim Adventures Inc. There you go. Our company logo can be... What's the closest thing to our actual logo? I want a car. No, no, no. We'll do that one. Fine. Um, complete all the tutorial tasks. Here we go. So yeah, this is a very old game, but um, it seems to be running fine on Windows 10 for me personally. I don't know um, what's going on with other people's games. But anyway, here we go. Graphically, it's not... Well, it's not that bad for 2006, I don't think. Um, hello, welcome to the training mission. Here we will help you to master the basics of managing a transportation company. Money and recognition are waiting for you. Okay, interesting. See, we're in like a town. Well done. Now you can move around the map and control the camera. Look around when you're ready to continue with our training. What? Plus, okay, okay. Fine. So yeah, we've got a few buildings. Um, and I guess that's our headquarters there. Can we move over to it? How do we move over to it? I don't know. Use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Yeah, if you do not have a mouse wheel, what? <laughs> Hold the left and right mouse buttons at the same time. Okay, yeah, well, we do have a mouse wheel because... I don't know, did, did all computers not have mouth, mouse wheels? Anyway. Let's go on. Look in the left upper corner of the screen. There you will find the primary game parameter, the amount of money in your account. Uh, a million. The Steam thing is kind of getting in the way, but that is just a million bucks. Okay. Look in the right bottom corner. They, yeah, game time control, blah, blah, blah. We know how that works. Fairly simple so far. There's something coming across the screen. As the game unfolds, you'll be getting messages about the important game events. Messages, yep, yeah, that's pretty standard. Just messages coming across the screen. Yep, yeah, we understand that. You can install them in a folder. Click the folder icon. There you go. Open messages. This is your first message. Good. You can use the, the map to control the situation there. All enterprises, garages, offices, roads and maps are depicted on the map. Your cars and houses are shown with the, your colour. Okay, what's our, what is our colour? Is it blue? I think. Game events attract your, your attention highlighted. Okay. Well, here's our headquarters anyway. Uh, move to the center of the blinking area, which is there. Here. Any transportation company needs a gadget for the purchase, repair, and storage of cars. It says cars, but I think it means trucks, really. Let's buy this garage. Here we go. So we go here, buy garage. It's 200 grand, which is fine. The garage is yours. You can buy your first car. Please note that the bookmark with the title of your garage has appeared on the left side. Underneath it, you can see the icon with an empty space for your car. Isn't it this music? Yeah. It's like sort of um, very retro. Anyway, open the car market. Here we go. So we can buy a Kurs hack or an Amber. What year is it? 1950. Right, okay. We're going to buy this one just because it's much better. It's it lasts longer, it's got more st has it got more storage? It's cheaper though. It's literally cheaper, but it can't carry as much. Oh no, let's go for the amber then. Right, so how do we how do we actually buy one? Drag it to an empty garage lot. There you go. We got one. You bought your first car. It occupies its place in the garage and its icon is visible on the left. Yep. Uh, to the right. Of the car icon, you see a, pro a problem indicator. Okay, no driver. Right. We've got a labour market here. So, Nick Becker and Thomas Brown. Um, we're going to go for Nick Becker. Additionally, um, yeah, 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 yeah. So, how do I, how do I hire in them? Is it going to tell me how to do it? Must have a license. Okay, they must have a license. Yeah. You can drive a tank, apparently. No, that's a, a, that kind of tank. Okay. So the icon, you can drive your car and drag him to the car icon on the left. We're going to do Nick Becker. There you go. Uh, 
transport cars between different enterprises. One of the enterprises is a heavy industry plant is located in the northern part of the level. You can move to it by clicking on the blinking area of the map. Here we go. Ooh. Looks like a nuclear power station, to be honest. Proto Protogon. In order to start working with an enterprise, you need to sign a contract with them. Open the list of contracts on the enterprise. Right. So, bio components or chemicals? Well, we want to do bio components, I think. Right, there you go. Wrong body. Okay, we'll do this one then. There you go. We are now going. The contract was assigned to the car. As soon as the contract is assigned to the car, it proceeds with the implementation automatically. Off he goes. Oh, I've gone to... Here it is. Here it is. Right. Where am I? How do you move the... How do you move the view? You just have to, like, click on the map, I think. That's kind of annoying. Anyway. Here we go. He's going. Wee. Where is he going? Yes. Oh, you can move your mouse to the edge of the screen to move. Okay, there you go. So, yeah, it's nice that it's all modelled. You can see everything moving along. Um, I think they need to go back and forth several times. So, can we buy another car, maybe? Where's he? Hang on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going? Oh. He's delivering at the maple tree place. Right. You receive your first profit. The first stage of transportation is over, and the client has submitted the first check. Accepted. The profit has not yet covered the car cost yet, but better days are yet to come. Proceed with the contract. Okay. Can we can we buy another truck? Because we have got enough money for that. Sim Adventures Inc. Oh yes. So it's a fairly standard tycoon game. Um, I don't think it's going to be like... You know, I can see why this game has perhaps been forgotten slightly. Right, the car's broken down. Move to the broken car, yep. Got a breakdown. The car broke down. Do your normal gameplay cars don't break down so quickly, but we've cheated a bit for the sake of training. Great. Okay, breakdowns. You try to the garage repair. Okay. We need to tow this guy for repair. Move to your garage and click on it. Sure thing. Repair departments. A technician. Let's have Diana Parker. The technician can repair cars in your garage. Repair tasks take quite some time. Open the office window. We save time, time down. There you go. Managers. We need a manager. Okay. A car manager. Chloe Spencer or... What is, what is this? Experience gained. Experience required. Okay. Well, Chloe Spencer. Sure. Go for it. I don't really know if they're any better than each other. So it's the information bookmark. Okay. Optimization of operations, only 18%, which is terrible. Um, so I guess the manager can increase our optimization of the processes we have in our company, make things better. The game world around you is developing. The more dynamically you work with enterprises, the faster they will develop and they'll provide more profitable contracts. Okie dokie. Right, so that looks pretty simple. Um, we have done the tutorial mission, so... What we now need to do is do Forest River. This is going to be... Um, I'm going to go on to the second difficulty, because why not? Sim Adventures, Inc. The two towns are standing on the bank of a forest river. A developed transport network and Benchville Transport Terrace will help you to achieve substantial success. Don't miss your chance. Raise the general cost of the company... I mean, that's the value of the company, I guess. Up to 2 million in 17 years, from 1950 to 1967, and your domination in the region will be guaranteed. So it sounds like a pretty simple mission. Right, we're going to start by looking at the contract. Well, first of all, we need to buy a garage, don't we? So, Oh, it is our garage. Fine, fine, fine. We already own the garage. Right. So, contracts. Oh, that's weird. There are no contracts. Um, okay, let's buy a truck. So I just want a standard truck. Something that can have maybe a van or a container. Um, the amber is pretty good, I think. Bye. Truck is a hundred grand. Um, a driver. Well, there's a lot of people in here, uh, and there's an alarm going off. Okay, never mind. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of these. We just want a guy with a container. So Abraham Smith, Colin Wainwright. There you go. Right, what contracts have we got now? That's odd. Maybe we need to go to... Let's go to this place then. Okay, lots of contracts. So, no cars available. We're going to go for 
container. So we can do, this is construction materials. 727 days, how much money do we get for it? 87k, I think that one sounds quite good. Oh no, this one's 100k. Yeah, sure. Assigned to car, we're doing that one now. We're doing one contract. So where is the, um, is it statistics? Or company office? I want to see where, I, where's our goal? Money required for upgrade, okay, so as you get more money, you can upgrade. Oh my goodness, we're inside the office. Okay, so we've got no people working here. Wow, it's a pretty shoddy office, isn't it? Um, right, so let's let's get a manager. A car manager. Uh, Sarah O'Grady. What? Can't I put the manager in the office? Okay. Uh, managers. Is my friend Ryan? No. Contract manager, wants a car manager, car manager. Whoa, whoa, why is it moving so fast? Let's go to pause. Um, there you go, Christine Hastings is a car manager, fine. Done. Right, we're going to want a second car. So, what does this place have? Fruit and corn farm. Uh, they sell lots of bio components and feed and food supplies. So maybe we get a van and do some food supplies. Look at that, 198k for food supplies. So we're going to buy a van. Uh, the Triton. Looks good. Can we hire a driver? Yep. John Sherman, there you go. Right, now, 198k. Let us go. There we go. We've got um, two cars now, and we're going to speed up time. Now, can we centre? Look at the car. There we go. He's off. Picking up stuff from the knitted works, which is interesting. Yeah, he's off. He is off. We've still got a lot of money, so I think we should just keep going. Federal garage. What is this? I have no idea. Anyway, um, before we do anything, though, we do need a repair technician David Williams repair technician and a repair truck the Janus which is probably quite cheap there you go um, how do I make sure he's in the car that'd be fine so he'll repair stuff for us, I guess. Okay, let's look for another factory. There's one over here, all the way over here, look. Food heaven, it looks like some kind of um, supermarket. What is going on in that water, my goodness. Okay, so 329k food supplies. That's crazy. 329k for some food supplies, so we can take that in. I don't know what kind of vehicle we can take that in. Is it literally just a van? I think it's literally just a van, right. Trucks. And then trailers, okay, interesting, right. The Triton. How much can it carry? For only four tons. So maybe if we go for the Barracuda for this one. Because we do need to carry a lot of stuff. Hire a driver. Oops. Kurt O'Brien, a point to car. There you go. And now... Assigned to that. You cannot get this contract. What about this one then? You cannot get this contract. What about this one then? There you go. That one is moving. Right, we've got three vans on the move. We're now doing well. So I don't know if you I don't know if you can actually build rows or anything. I don't think you can. Um can we see our profit maybe. Oh. That's not there's nothing there. What has happened? The car- oh! The cargo is not delivered in time. The contract has failed. Oh no. But we completed another one, so that's fine. Oh no. Right, okay. So you're still doing- they're all- we didn't accept a contract, what? I swear they're all still doing contracts. Right, okay. Um, I don't know what that thing is down the end of that road. Anyway, let's some- there's some, um, forests over here. 
So why don't we have a quick look at what they will have? Uh, maybe an open trailer, no, or a timber trailer? A timber trailer. 166k for that one. I said they've got re required speed. Right, okay, I'm starting to understand this now. So let's buy a car. A truck. Uh, that's 230 grand. Have we got enough for that? No, we don't. I don't think we can do it. There aren't any timber cars. That's why they differentiate them between cars, I guess. Right, so what else do these guys do? Do they need any, like, van stuff? No? A tank? Yeah, they'll do tank stuff. So, bio components. 51 kilometers per hour. Well, both of them will do that. We'll buy the Kursak. And there we go. Patrick Miller. Perfect. We've got four vehicles now. Boom. Four vehicles on the road. Um, let's go through these open messages. Here we go. Car something guy, we don't we don't want to know about that. Let's get rid of that. How do we get rid of these? I have no idea. Um, most probably our car will not fulfill the contract obligations. Ah, I should have seen that. That is annoying. Okay. Maybe we need more than one truck. Yeah. That's fine though. I mean, is this guy going for an overtake? I've, I've no idea. It's all over the road though. Come on, overtake. Whoa, that's a dangerous maneuver. Okay. Um, so let's have a look at our contracts then. Minimum rating, distance, stage length. Oh, we're nowhere near done on this one. Right, stop. We are nowhere near done. Let's get another Triton then. Another Triton. Look at this guy. He's got... What the heck? The people in this are very weird. Okay. It's the... Which contract is it? Brute and Corn Haven. It's seven. There you go. Boom. Hopefully that will help. We've pretty much run out of money now. And look at all the birds, my goodness. So yeah, I mean, it's not... What's happened? Serious breakdown. Serious breakdown. Oh, but our guy is already helping. Yay, we did it, look. I knew that would ha come in handy. We've actually just started to tow our guy back. Fantastic. Good. Okay, so that vehicle's now repaired, I guess. I think we're making money. I, I don't know if these statistics are working. We look, this building's... Oh. Oh my goodness, we're failing all of these and we're getting... We're getting penalised, like, we've got no money. Wow, I failed that totally, didn't I? So why isn't the... Yeah, the... Oh no, we're out of money. It seems like the, um... Statistics do not work. See, it's actually pretty difficult. I just kind of jumped in at the deep end, but um, we're completing some of the contracts and making money now. So, we've got some vehicles here that... Uh, have no contract, so let's just get them a contract. Ones that are achievable. So... Ones that are achievable. Electrical appliances, that looks fine. Go. Um, another one, maybe? With this one over here, the farm. With a van. Actually, is that, that's, a, that's, a, that's an open one, isn't it? Oh. No, we can't. We can't do any from there. Um, 
Any open available here? No, none available for that one. So yeah, we are completing contracts and getting a bit of money, but it's not going very well. But there you go. That is Freight Tycoon Inc. An interesting game. Quite an old game. Um, bit glitchy with the graphics, but it does actually work on my computer, so I'm a bit confused about that. I need to have a look and see what I'm doing wrong, because I'm pretty much jumping in and buying vehicles that aren't good enough to be used on some of these contracts. So yeah, that's that makes sense, I guess. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think of this game. Let me know if you want to see me do any more of this game. I'm not sure if I will play much more in the future. Um, but maybe maybe uh, maybe another video, I don't really know. But yeah, Freight Ty Tycoon Inc. Um, an interesting game. I'm going to save my game. Boom, there you go. And I will see you soon for some more simulator adventures. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and check out these videos for more content. Also remember to join my Discord server from the link in the description.